So I've been threading my brows for a while now and I do not trust anybody else with my brows. The one time I trusted somebody in Jersey City with my brows, they ruined them. And I was like... <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Priya and today we're going to be talking about brows. I love brows. I've been loving them for about five years now. I started learning how to do my brows when I was 15. I'm here to tell you that you can save money and you can finesse your brows any day, anytime, and I'm going to teach you how to thread. Basically, if you're new at brows, you should go on Pinterest and look at what brow shape that you like. I tend to like this brow shape. When I was new at this and I was just starting out, I would definitely look at the brow shape and then outline my brows with just a brow pencil or anything that you can easily wash off later. But it really helps you to, to get that shape that you want and brow is all about the shape. Let me just tell you, brow shape has the potential to change your entire face. Like you could look like a whole new person just by changing the shape of your brow and that is why I love brows. I love to keep my brows on point. They are just, they're amazing. They're like two things on your face that you can have total control over if you want. And the camera pick it up. Oh, there we go. So I haven't done my brows at all. There is stuff that needs to be removed under and stuff that needs to be removed over. And with that, let's just get right into the video. What I'm going to need is some thread. And I got this from India. My family just buys it in bulk, but I'm sure you can find it on Amazon. And if I find some, I'll link some down below. Um, it's super cheap, super affordable. So yes, some thread, of course. Then you're going to need a pair of tweezers. I couldn't find my favorite pair. When you need it, it always disappears. But luckily, I got this backup. So I'm going to be using these guys today. You're gonna need some scissors, some mini scissors. This is not a total necessity, but I like to have it. And this one is also not a necessity, but it's just Johnson & Johnson's Aloe and Vitamin E Cream with the cotton swab. I like to swab over my eyebrows with this when I'm done, just to be a little extra and pamper myself a little bit more. And lastly, you'll need a mirror so you can see your little tiny hairs up and close. And that's all, pretty simple. Let's make these babies brand new. To start off by outlining my brows the way that I want to be, I would normally skip over this step if you feel comfortable, but I really, really recommend it until you get your shape down. So the first thing is, what you wanna do is grab your, what is this called? <laughs> I'm totally blanking right now. Grab your string, I'm gonna call it string. So the first thing is you're gonna grab your string and you're gonna take about this much and just make a knot at the end. So tie the two knots together. So then what you're going to do is take both of your hands, put them on opposite ends of your thread and with your right hand, you can go like this and just keep going and that's basically it and then you're gonna place it on your skin and take the hair off in that motion this hand stays still and this hand is all the work you angle the hair that you don't want in this corner right there and push like that this motion twist and push and we're ready to get started. Got a couple hairs right here that I want off. And I just go like that and they're off. Right there. Betty Bop right through. Those lip 
for Tony Hills right there. It's okay to cry. <laughs> it hurts sometimes. So at this point, I'm pretty much done with this eyebrow. I'm just going to clean up a little bit. Like, I have tiny hairs right here. You have to be really gentle and fragile with the skin because if you're not... Oh, excuse that. That's just Mother Nature. But if you're not, you can um, scar this skin really easily. So you need... It's super thin. So you need to be gentle with that and... There's like super tiny ones over here. I go in with the plucker and like pluck them. Look at that hair. Stop for a second to see how different. Look at how this brow makes my face look. This side, the face is more alive. And this side, there's a distinct difference. The brows can definitely change your face. So let's get back to it. Do the same thing in the middle, getting the hairs one by one. I probably look so weird talking and doing this. Just go really slow because I really it's so easy to mess things up. So I just finished doing the middle and I kind of gauge where the bridge of my nose is for the first hair of my eyebrow to start. And that's how I get the middle done. I just pluck out the hairs with the tweezer that I really can't get with the thread. And for the second brow, I- Ooh, look at that bad boy. I'm not going to outline it. I'm just going to get right into it. I'm gonna make sure your hair is tied back so it doesn't get caught in the crossbow. So now basically I got the top and I'm going to do the bottom with my thread. Be really gentle with the skin here. Okay, this side is done. I'm just going to clean up the middle really quickly, but we did most of the work last time. I low-key feel like I always do this brow better. I don't know why. I feel like when I did get them done in Jersey, the dresser or I don't know what they call it the threader who was threading my eyes she made this one way thinner so I'm still getting it to size with this one but I feel like I always do this brow better <laughs> if that's you right now don't feel like you're alone in that it gets easier the more you practice I promise and the last thing you sort of want to do before you pamper yourself is just line these little tiny itty bitty hairs cut them to the side so i like to chop just like that so you got that angle that you want and that's basically it Red to do the circumference of our brows we plucked the small hairs that we couldn't get especially in the unibrow and then we cut the, the hairs with the little scissors inside so they all lined up and gave you that angle that you wanted the last thing I like to do is just squeeze a little onto there. Put a little owl on my thighs and it feels literally like the most relaxing feeling ever. And just like that, we're done. We got our little babies. Perfect. I love brows. I'm obsessed with them and I hope that you learned something and found this tutorial helpful It was literally my first time doing a tutorial and I didn't know how to film up close fingers crossed 
So we got some good footage that showed you how to thread. Threading has literally changed the game for me. I've saved so much money and now you can too. If you liked this video, I will be making so many more. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.